Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today let's go over a premium medium question that I just solved on my own. So I'm really excited about this because again I managed to solve it without any help, which I'm really proud of. So I'll show you my own way of doing it. Uh, the topics here are array and greedy, but again I like to use binary search to solve it, so that's the most intuitive way for me. And it's the way I came up with by myself. So again, let me just show you. So basically you're playing a game of tag with your friends. In tag, people are divided into two teams, it and not it. Basically, if you're a one, you're trying to catch as many zeros as you can. And the, the catch here is you can only take one zero. So for example, here you can take from negative two to four. So negative two, zero, one, two, three, four. So we're gonna take the smallest zero. So that's negative one. And then we can only take one zero for this guy, right? This guy can only take another zero, which is gonna be this one. So we can take two zeros in total. So we return two and it's pretty straightforward. That's all it is. So let me show you my own way of doing it. Again, it's probably not the most optimal, but I did come up with this on my own. So um, basically what we want to do is just follow the instructions, right? Let's keep track of all, all the ones. So for I, T and enumerate team, and since it says it here, let's call it it. So if t is one, then let's keep track of the index where the ones appear. Otherwise, let's call this zero, zero dot append i. That's where the zeros appear, right? So we're actually gonna make this a sorted list because we want a binary search. Again, we wanna find the smallest, so negative two through four. You want to find the first zero we find, and that's it, because we can only find one zero if we do in this range, right? Each of these ranges. So, and this is add, is the API for that. And now, uh, let me show you the first try I had, which was wrong, which is the brute force way of doing it. Just saying for, um, let's just go through for index in IT, and then we just go through each value in zero, or first we have to put a low and a high, which is index minus distance, index plus distance, it says right there. And let's print low and high. So negative two and four should show up, cool. So my first attempt at doing this was just to loop through low to high plus one. So, and then this is the, the range we have. So let's print, um, actually, yeah, my first attempt was just to say, um, well, first of all, we have to take care of the boundary check. So if high, if, so if six, for example, is out of range. So if high is bigger than or equal to length of team or J in this case, then we would just, get rid of that problem by modding it by the length of team. And now we can just say team of J because we want to print it. Cool, so now we would just say if team of J is equal to zero, then where we have a set because we can't take more than one index. So in that case, we would just add J and then break, right? And then at the end, just return length of scene. I hope this works. Okay, it does, again, if we print scene, we're gonna get zero, and we're gonna get negative one and zero, I think. Zero, negative one, same thing, sets are unordered. And again, this is n squared, it technically works. So, except this is not fast enough, so I, the most intuitive way for me is just to use binary search, so let me show you how I did it. Uh, this is a problem because If it has to be within the range, um, so let's print low and high and zero just to give you a better idea. Okay, so the next biggest one is zero, right? So Let's just go through zeros, and if low is less than or equal to h, less than or equal to high, it's within that range, right? Zero is within negative two and four. Then we can just add, 
uh, H, and then also discard H. And H is not in scene, right? Because you can't reuse indexes. Um, So this index has to be chosen. Yes, so that's zero. And two, I don't know why four is being chosen. And this index zero is not in scene, yep. print scene oh yeah okay so as soon as we right because we can only pick one person we can only catch any one person not multiple people right so and there you go so technically it works but again it's not fast enough so this is n squared wait what this works okay well uh that's kind of weird. I guess I'll show you my other way of doing it, which is just to use binary search. But, okay, I guess I just, that's even better because, okay, so anyways, let me show you my other way of doing it, which is just to basically just say B equals bisect left inside of Z and low, right? Because we want to find the number that's bigger than or equal to this, the soonest number, right? So. Um, if B is less than length of Z, let's print ZB, and then uh, let's do that. So in this case, that's zero. So if low is less than or equal to ZB, which is less than or equal to high, then we just add Z of B, which is zero, and then discard ZB, and then break, right? Same thing. So that should be faster. Okay, let's see. Oh, and ZB not in scene. So the value is ZB. Let's call this value. Discard this. Okay, so mm, okay, let's print B. So B is index zero, that's fine. The value is this. So Oh, I don't know why this is wrong. Let's print scene. Yep, so z dot discard value. So hmm. print ZB, yeah, that's the value. No, discard should work the same way since this is a sorted list. Bisect right. Mm -mm. So, Low is less than or equal to value, less than or equal to high, yes, and val is not in scene. Because we can only pick one, right? Index zero is discarded, right? So. I don't know why this is not. <laughs> So the index zero is discarded because it's in this range, so we still have two and four. Why is this? 
Oh. Okay, so we don't need the break because this is not a loop anymore, right? We don't just do it once. That would destroy this loop as well. So, okay, so now low is less than or equal to value, less than or equal to high. This is the original way I was doing it. Because here, six is not even in this range. So, okay, let's get rid of this now. And there you go, that is all test cases. So again, this is the way I came up with on my own and pretty happy about this. It's not the most efficient, but yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.